Hi, my name is Andrew Halliwell. I'm a film producer, film composer, music producer. Uh, you can check out my work at alifeinbinary.com or Greg and I's beautiful music studio here, tigermountain.ca. Hi there, my name is Greg Weller. I am founder and co-owner of Tiger Mountain Music, here with Andrew. Uh, I'm a guitar player, composer, and producer, and uh, yeah. Hey, I'm Curtis Berry. Uh, I've played in many bands throughout my career. I've played in Slain, <laughs> Eyes to Cry was my first band. How emo is that? Um, what else? This Day's Red was another band I was in. Uh, Slain, Red Hot Chili Peppers cover band. Um, Coal Town. There's so many I can't even name. That's a few that you might have heard of. Hi, I'm TJ. I sing in a band called No Operator. And before moving to British Columbia, I played in a bunch of high school bands back in Alberta. Um, and that is about the extent of my relevance. But you had to know, so I told you. Stop, walk to horizon. One big crash that no one dies in. This is for the folks in Fayetteville. It'll come true if you say it will. Nowadays, like I'm not really in any bands. Uh, I was in a Red Hot Chili Peppers band, cover band with Greg here, and we we were pretty successful. We had uh, we had some really good gigs, and uh, we played Vancouver lots and all over the island, and we were making decent money at it and everything. And we had a couple opportunities to play uh, cruise ships and stuff, um, but it all just kind of fell apart, and we we kind of bailed on it. We we still play today now and again, and it's like we won't play for a year, and we still have that Chili Pepper stuff down, but. Um, my dreams now are, are a bit different. I, I was a drummer back then. I still play drums, but I, I'm more passionate about playing guitar and singing now. Um, that's kind of the direction I'd like to take if I was to play music. But I think the direction I'd like to take now is more in production and uh, recording and, and, and helping people just add the little spice that it needs kind of thing. So that, that's how it's changed for me. As I was learning music, I was also really interested in programming and, uh, and making my own instruments. and. Um, so I kind of went down that path of making guitars or making, um, making effects pedals or making synths, trying to really understand the nature of, of audio. Um, eventually I, uh, I ended up going to university for one year and just, just because and studying physics and I think that really accelerated my, my understanding of the nature of waves. Uh, when I finished that year uh, studying physics, I came back to producing and I just felt like it all started to click really quickly. My, my, my dreams have, have changed. It's, uh, it's gone from just wanting to play an instrument to wanting to uh, put that into soundtracks, composing for uh, films, which I've done over the last seven years um, in Vancouver. So it's definitely changed over time from when I first started, you know, I really just wanted to do the guitar thing, be a performing artist, to realizing that you have to diversify what you're doing in order to make a career out of it. So I think that's really important to stay flexible in what you're doing and maintain a, a different, different interests in, in what you're doing with music in order to survive if you're planning on making music in your career. Um, so yeah, my goals now are to keep the studio going. I still totally want to perform and go and tour. You know, I was lucky I went to, uh, as a roadie with TJ out on the road. And had, it was an experience of a lifetime. It was really cool. So definitely got to do that again. Um, Writing music, specifically lyrics, is my journal. It's it's my therapist. It's, you know what I mean? It's, it's how I express. That will never change. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be if I make it to 100 years old, I'll probably still be still be writing stuff. So that's the one consistent from when I very first started to when I die. I mean, you start out and you just want to... Like, I started out playing guitar and singing. I was terrible at both. Um, but I just really wanted to make songs that passed as a song to start. You just want to be able to play something that's like, hey, dude, 
it's, it's a song, right? Like, that's... I did it. You know, you're like, I did it, right? And you get to that point, and then you just chip a little further and a little further. I guess the vision of Tiger Mountain Greg and I have set out to achieve is to just create a community hub for music in the island, in Nanaimo. Um, and that is through a number of means. Uh, through lessons, we have two lesson studios, and we also are doing two uh, shows a month. We're bringing in local acts, touring acts that are coming through town um, from across Canada, even the U.S. Um, and uh, and a really exciting thing that we're doing here is using our great space and all the acoustic treatment in it uh, to host an audience, and then bring in bands and uh, do a live music video of the performance. So we'll select a song with the band, and uh, b you know before the show starts. And, um, and then we'll set up the GoPro cameras. It takes, you know, five minutes and the audience loves it. They think it's really interesting and cool. Um, and then uh, we just press record on everything. We, you know, Greg will sit here at the mixer and do the full multi-track recording. Um, we've got mics all over the studio. Uh, it's really exciting. And I think it's, uh, for our little seaside studio, it allows us to get the great music that comes through here out into the world, onto our YouTube channel. Um, just Tiger Mountain YouTube channel and, uh, and gives a voice of our little music community here to the world.